uh, First Lady Harmonic here doing a uh, just a uh, chart markup or chart analysis on the pair I'm looking at for next week. Uh, GPP, NZD. Uh, always like to tell you how I look at the charts. I always start from a daily perspective, being that this is going to be a new week. We'll start from a weekly perspective. We want to see how price has what it closed for with the week. So, for a weekly perspective, we're looking at a oh wow, very very bullish, and also close above my 200 EMA, which gives me a signal that we are going to be heading up for a little bit more. Um, we actually have engulfed this bearish engulfing candle as well. So this candle here has basically taken out this candle, the, these two candles here, take out every candle of a bearish nature. So we're definitely are very bullish, which is giving me some indication that next week we're still going to continue bullish. Or, as we look here um, from a daily perspective back down, we are sitting at a major quarter point. We see a little bit of rejection as well. So we may see just a small retracement um, and then head back up, or we may open up a higher than 1.95. Um, there's something to watch for. So, overall, we're still very bullish. Although, um, I'm going to say that uh, we most likely will be starting to head down. The reason why I say that is because, as we see that price has been moving up for some time now, we know price can't always continue one direction forever. It's going to have to do some kind of re retracement. So, price has come all the way up. And you can see here, price has come all the way up. Um, and has come down. And it has come down, and it hasn't been able to uh, make it or uh, break this high right here. So price is telling me that it has been mo losing momentum. Um, as a harmonic trader, I'm going to say uh, this could be forming a nice harmonic pattern um, based off of what I'm seeing. Again, just from what I've drawn, um, up, down, up, that gives me a nice double top. Um, we see price is has not broken this area here, so price is pretty much below. Anything above this trend line is going to be a uh, buy. Anything below it, I'm looking at sales. So, from a perspective of harmonic. I'm going to take my relative low, which is down here, you can see, bring it up to my relative high, I want to be precise. And we see that once price came all the way up and we traced down, it came down to my 50%. And understanding harmonics, I reached the 50%, I'm looking at a, um, probably a, a shock, a shock pattern. Um, LC point uh, is anything between 3 and 2 and 8.86. This right here is an 8.86. Anything really, as long as it doesn't break the air, the X point, it makes it still valid. And then our D point would be the 886 down here. Um, we want to look for a Fibonacci cluster or either a price reversal zone. And we'll do that by doing an ABA extension. So from A to B, back up into A, we're looking for a 618 area right here. So our price reversal zone will be 1618. 886. I'm gonna make that green for lost. Start looking to make money, baby. And I'm gonna draw in the actual harmonic as to how it actually would look as it plays out. X, A, B, C, D. Okay, so there's your harmonic. This is my harmonic pattern right here. The bat, it's a bullish bat, meaning that once it comes to the D point, we're looking for some type of reversal back up, probably up into this area right here, the 186 uh, area, at least the minimum of. Okay, so that's from a daily perspective. Um, this is my impulse like here, it shows a break of structure. Um, and then of course price has been trying to go back up to gain momentum to break the side but has not been able to do that it's giving me a double top a lower high and it also has broken structure here and it's coming back up um, if it does not break this here and create another lower high 
I'm suspecting that it is going to continue to come down at least until um, this area down here, 186 area, and even below probably the 185 area. Um, so what I would normally do is take my Fibonacci as well and go from relative high to relative low. From this perspective, we see that we're very close to 786. We're still very bullish. Um, so I'm looking for some type of reversal. I'm looking for some type of reversal in this area here. I'm going to change that to purple. Whenever you see a purple box on my charts, that's because um, that would be my uh, 786, 886 box. So my bottom would be with 786. My top would be 886. So hopefully within that area there, I'll see some type of uh, chart pattern, some kind of uh, price action, give me indication that um, we are going to sell. We could very well go back up to hit this trend line here. Uh, which would give me probably 100%. So we may end up going up to 1975. I would probably look for some type of sell opportunity up up here. Um, again, it still, still would not be, it still would be a nice uh, lower high in reference to this. So it would have to break here in order for me to start taking any buys. Anything other than that, I'm looking for sells. So um, again, Understanding that right now we're still very bullish from weekly, from a daily perspective. Even if we were to go down to the four-hour level, we are very bullish as well. Um, we want a confirmed sell trade. Um, we are looking for some type of uh, lower high, lower low, breaking of structure on a lower um, time frame. That would give you some nice confirmation that you are in a confirmed sell, even on the higher time frame. So hopefully that will give you a little bit of idea of what's going on, how to read the markets. Uh, if you have any questions in reference to market structure, um, thinking about having a, a session probably within the next week or so. Um, if anyone's interested and would like to get on, just shoot me over um, information. Um, and we can go and want to go over some things. Maybe black, black people have been asking me about market structure and things of that nature. Um, and learning harmonics and things of like that. So to be able to do that, just uh, hit me up. Other than that, I uh, hope you enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow when the markets are open. Talk to you later. Bye.